It's literally just five minutes worth of footage of me just trying to open this box. So I've been really excited to do this video, um, I've had this package for about I would say maybe three weeks or so, um, I've only opened it a little bit just to make sure what obviously I got was in there because obviously I ordered a few things, but yeah I've just been waiting forever to do this video just so I can open it, so yeah let's just go. Hello everyone and welcome to Kimmy Shrine. So if you're new here then twice a week I do videos. So on Saturdays it's something from the Shrine. So the last one I done was actually my Beast one. So I done Belle, I've done Beauty and the Beast, but I've never done a Beast one so that was in my last video. And then on Wednesdays is a haul of some type and like I said, so this is something that I won on eBay. So this is my winning bid. Um, I did mention this, oh god, in, in a video at some point a couple weeks ago I sort of mentioned this. This is the first thing I actually have from this particular movie in the shrine so I don't have anything else from this movie. Um, it's nothing to do with uh, princesses or anything like that. Um, it was just one of those things that I was just on eBay, uh, I just typed in, I think it was like Disney bundles, I do it quite often and see what comes up and uh, yeah so this is one thing that's came up and I won it and we're going to open it together. So like I said I have only just opened a little bit of it, like literally just that bit, I've not opened any further than that just on the basis that I did order a few other ones. One uh, well, of my other ones I did actually get was my Hunchback and Notre Dame, which I did in a few videos ago. Um, so this one, so I'm just, just gonna open it, because obviously I know what's in it on the basis that when I obviously went on eBay for it, it did have a photo. It's just sometimes the photos aren't always that great, so uh, a part of me was like, oh, I'm not really sure that, you know, what, what those, what's in there. Oh, I can't open this. Um, and I don't have my scissors up here. Oh, I can see something. Whoever sent me this has actually packaged it very well. It's literally just five minutes worth of footage of me just trying to open this box. Almost, I feel like, uh, aha, right. So that is the box empty, so I put that to one side. So what I'm left with is just what's in here. So I'm just, oh. Oh, okay, so there's more stuff in here than I thought. So, um, the ones that I thought I was getting uh, are due at the end, but they actually gave me another bag of stuff. So this, I have no idea what it is, because I didn't realize if I bid on it, I didn't realize this came with it, but I don't know, I'm not mad about it. So I'm just, oh, she says, I'm gonna try and open it. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm just gonna open it, tip out the contents. Ooh, oh, okay, wait, wait way oh what is this this looks amazing what have I got hair out the way okay <laughs> this is so random right got my little box there to hopefully show you guys um I don't know if this goes together I don't know I'm gonna have to work it out later but it looks like it looks like I've got parts of Disney like Disneyland or Disney World I'm trying to work it out which one it is because it looks like there that that is the castle there with the carousel behind it so that's the castle there because the color castle if I remember rightly the pink and the blue castle is Paris and possibly California because that is um, Sleeping Beauty's castle now if it was more blue 
then it would be Cinderella's castle which is Florida so correct me if I'm wrong but that was my understanding that Cinderella's castle is in Florida um, whereas in uh, California and Paris it is a uh, Stephen Beauty's castle and yeah so that looks like that and like I said just on the back there you just got to see the carousel there but I've not been to the California one I've only ever been to Paris and Florida and it does have um, it's a small world as well just behind there so you got that one and then this one looks like oh yeah this looks like Space Mountain on that one so which you also because to be honest I've never been to the California one to know what you've got there because I know obviously you've got um, you know like Magic Kingdom but I don't know what other parks you've got or whether it's just Magic Kingdom like for example in Paris you've got Magic Kingdom and then you've got Hollywood Studios and then this one oh okay ah I know this so um, this is oh my god it's Main Street my favourite place literally my favourite place in the world is Main Street I absolutely love Main Street this is something about being in Disney and then you've got toys on one side, so you've got the toy shop one side, you've got the bakery on the other side, you go down Main Street where the parade is and then you've got the castle in front of you. Ugh, it's literally my favourite place. Uh, if that's where I could live for the rest of my life, I, I would literally be a happy Kimmy. This um, looks like the um, hotel, so the Disney hotel. So if this is the Paris one, this is the one that me and Ruben always stay at. Um, and then on here you just got Main Street, so like I said, you've obviously got shops one side and then you've got um, the the bakery the other side there's nothing on there oh wait <gasps> it is Paris it says on there but only just looked it does say Paris so that's the hotel we stay at oh my god that's so cute so this is my happy place so yeah that's good to know so that is actually Paris um, so these might actually all connect because I've got a few more. So I've got, let me just double check. Yeah, this is Paris. Oh my God, this has made my day. No, no, I've actually, I've actually got a little Paris. Um, so yes, yeah, so you've got this one here. So this is like Adventure Island. So obviously that's where the pirates are and things like that. So you've got that as well. Um, I don't know, cause it's got, some of them have got little spikes. In it. Oh wait. Ah, okay, right, I'll get to that in a minute. I've just worked it out. Okay, so I've just worked it out because other things have come with it because I've just realized that these have got little sort of, um, uh, words, words. It's too early in the morning. Where are my words? It's got little things in it that you can stick something on it. Yeah, that's the best way I can describe it. And then, oh, so on here you've got, um, let me just sit, which way around? Ah, so on here you've got Haunted Mansion. Uh, and then you've got, um, what's that other one? Space Mountain, Splash Mountain. It's one I don't like. And then you've got the ride there. I don't like this ride. Which one is it? I've forgotten what it's called. It's something mountain. It's not Splash Mountain. Oh, I completely forgot and my brain has gone. Ugh, cool, call myself a Disney fan. I can't even think what the ride's called. So anyway, so I've got all those. So what I'm gonna try and do, if I can, because it looks like you can actually fit them together. Wait, wait, cause that one, no. <laughs> I feel like a child trying to work this out. <gasps> Yay, I did it. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Right, I'll see if I can show you guys, cause it is quite flat. Oh, don't come apart, don't come apart, don't come apart. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Like, I didn't even know this came with what I ordered, because what I ordered was from a Disney movie, so I didn't realize I even got this, but oh my god, I have little Paris. So look at that. So yeah, like I said, that's the hotel that we stay at, so that's obviously the pink hotel. And then you go down Main Street, and then you've got the castle there. And then, I didn't realise it came with it, is these ones here. So I have Pluto, who is an astronaut, so he will go, I'm assuming... Oh, can I... Wait. Oh, don't break it now! So, he will go there. Right, who else do we have? So we have Donald, and I assume he will go over here in Adventureland, yeah, and then we have Goofy, who basically looks like David Crockett, so um, I'm assuming he goes over here, 
and right, I've got two other ones. So I'm assuming I've got Minnie Mouse, and she's dressed as a princess. I'm assuming she goes here just because normally that's where the princesses are. So she would just be by the castle. Because if you ever do meet and greets, that's normally where they are. And then we've got Mickey Mouse. So I'm assuming he's in the middle here to welcome you all in. But oh my god I am so happy about it just look at that like I didn't even know that came in that that's actually made my day I could have just done a whole video on this but the fact that I've actually got something from Disneyland Paris obviously like a little map that is super cute I absolutely love that one um, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it like to me this is my happy place like I so want to go back like I absolutely love Paris but I'm gonna put this somewhere maybe on my desk so I can see it so it might be a bit of motivation to kind of save money to obviously go back there because um, if you didn't know me and Ruben are trying to go back for our ooh, our one year wedding anniversary because if you didn't know Ruben actually proposed to me in Paris uh, and then for our wedding we had a Beauty and the Beast inspired wedding and then for our honeymoon we actually went to Florida for three weeks so we are trying to go back to Paris uh, we've got less than six months now and to be honest the way the world's been recently we haven't been able to save that much money so yeah so hopefully um, if we do obviously I'll let you guys know I will vlog about it Disney if you want to send me there you know if you want me to vlog there then I'm quite happily to go there if you want me to uh, to go there and obviously vlog and buy stuff you know just just let me know but yeah so right so I'm happy with that so actually now getting on to the thing that I actually ordered which is this here so like I said I don't actually have any items for this film um, I absolutely love this film this is one of my favorite films I would say as a teenager because I was probably I want to say I was probably about, I don't know, like 13 I would say, 13, 14 maybe when this came out. Um, it was one of those things, this is how old this is. Um, I used to, every Saturday, uh, if you didn't know, I, I'm more or less an only child. Um, I grew up with my dad and my stepmom. So for me personally, I didn't really have a lot of friends. If you didn't know, I do do drawing. So for me personally, I was a very quiet child. Um, so on Saturdays, this is what I used to do. I used to go to the library rent this out on VHS and then go get some Haribo sweets and that would be my Saturday night would be watching this so um, I would watch it Saturday and then also watch it Sunday afternoon as well when my parents went out for shopping they always went shopping Sunday afternoons so I would watch it again so yeah so obviously I used to go to the library and do that uh, on VHS it was between this film and Basil the Great Mouse Detective they were the two I used to always almost like alternate so one week it would be Basil and then next week it would be this film yeah so I'm just going to tell you so the film is is a goofy movie but when I saw this so this was the bit that I won which was a goofy movie merchandise so it's all like McDonald's toys um, so I'm just gonna open this now so the first one <laughs> quite clearly it's Bigfoot so he's the only one that's not in any packaging so all the other ones are still in the McDonald's original packaging whereas Bigfoot is just as you see here I do think that's really cute to be honest I think that's one of the reasons this one and one other character I saw it and I was like I do actually kind of want this in my collection I just think it's really cute I just thought that he's actually got a Walkman on obviously yet again I grew up in the 80s so having a Walkman was kind of the norm oh the only thing on him his arms do move a little little bit and his body twists so he doesn't really do a lot for a McDonald's toy but yep so that is the first one and I'm actually going to take these out of the packaging because I don't really mind that um, obviously it come in the original original because I'm not going to sell them obviously I'm going to keep them oh okay so I do actually have the complete set because I've just looked on here and it's got four characters and uh, yeah so that's the four four that I've got the only thing is I've noticed um, I just opened Roxanne so that's Roxanne there but on her thing it actually shows you how to use Bigfoot so it looks like he may have come with some art it looks like he may have come with some ink and then what you do you put his feet in the ink and then you create your own sort of Bigfoot um, feet so yeah so like I said I got, got her um, the other thing is her hair is a little bit like weird yeah she's got like real hair which need, needs a bit of a brush 
doesn't say she does anything, so I think she is literally just, just a statue. Uh, so I had mentioned before in other videos, I think it might have been my hunchback, that normally you can tell if it's like a McDonald's toy or a Burger King toy because they move, they actually do something, they have a function. She does not. <laughs> so she is just there. Uh, the only thing she's got is obviously she's got like Barbie type hair, so she's actually got like hair, but she doesn't like come with a brush or anything. Anyway, so I'm gonna open this one next. So this one is Goofy. Oh, she says. Here's, oh, so his bit of paper. Oh, okay, so his bit of paper is the same where it's obviously got the, the Bigfoot thing on there. So maybe, oh, I don't know, do you move? Do you do anything? So yeah, so maybe Bigfoot is the only one that actually does anything. So, but this is Goofy here, and this is him. Um, obviously, when he's doing the perfect cast. So I just think this is super cute. The fact that obviously he's got his fishing gear on, he's got his fishing rod, and I just think he's really cute. The only thing is, this just kind of spin round. I'm not sure if it's supposed to spin round. I'm not really so sure what it's supposed to do. But uh, yeah, I just think that's super cute, just the basis that obviously he makes a big deal about the perfect cast and the whole point is obviously for him to go on his fishing trip, which obviously he did with his dad, so he's obviously wanted to do it with Max. Uh, and I just like the fact that Goofy is in this outfit. Right, so the last one, this is primarily one of the reasons I actually got this set. So when I saw this set was, uh, you know, bid on eBay and I saw that this character was in it, I was like, yes, I have to get it. So yet again, same thing, it's just got the Bigfoot thing on there. But it's Max's power line, look at that! So when I saw this, I was like, I need to have this set, I need to have this in my collection. Like, no offense to all the other ones, it's just the fact that when I saw this, I would have quite happily have just bought, bought this one. So I'm really happy that I got all the other ones, but the fact that obviously I've got this one, this is the one that I wanted, because I just think Max looks so cute as Powerline. Yet again, uh, I'm glad he's in this outfit because that's the main thing of the film, the fact that obviously he wants to go to see the Powerline concert. Wait, hopefully you can see. So hopefully you can see all of those ones, but that's all the ones I got from McDonald's. Um, so, like I have said before in previous videos, I do go through phases where I will just go on Disney, no, I will just go on eBay, type in Disney, either Disney Bundles, or Disney McDonald's, or Disney Burger King, and just see what comes up. Sometimes I do bid, sometimes I do buy, it just depends on... For me personally, it depends on how much the item is bidden for currently uh, compared to how much I would personally like to spend and also depends on how much time is left. So for example, I don't want to bid on something that's got say six days on it because I'm just like, oh, I don't want to wait six days. But if it's something that is like ending soon as in that day, I don't mind doing it. And to be honest, I like to be there at the ending bid just in case it's something that I really, really want. I want to be able to obviously be there like obviously the last second to bid to make sure I get it. Luckily enough there wasn't a lot of people bidding on this, I think maybe it was just me and someone else so it wasn't really a lot of competition so it wasn't like loads of people watching there. But it was just one of those potluck things, you know, you never know when something's going to come up on eBay, you never know when something, you know, is bidding. You could literally spend forever always on eBay just looking at everything, but it's just something I do now and again. Like I said, I got these ones, I got the Hunchback one. I did buy another one, but unfortunately at the moment it's currently lost in the post. Um, I have contacted the seller to be like, can I have a tracking number? Because unfortunately it was supposed to be delivered. I actually scheduled a date for it to be delivered and it hasn't turned up and it's almost been a week now so I'm still trying to track that down because it's one yet again I'll do for a video for you guys and it's also something in the shrine I don't have a lot of so it's one thing I was actually looking forward to, to doing. So that is it from my eBay haul that I've got. Um, like I said I do have one more coming if I can try and find it. Uh, at the moment this is the last eBay one that I've got for a while just on the basis that I've not ordered any eBay stuff for a bit but I have ordered some stuff for the actual shrine so um, I think some coming up we've got uh, Moana, uh, we've got Pocahontas, Mulan I think was in there somewhere, maybe Merida, so I got a few other things coming in the post that are just for that. At the moment they're underneath my desk, um, I've not actually opened them, I just know sometimes with the description it does actually say on there. Some of them I have like slightly open, I was like oh yeah that's that one, so I know that one's arrived. But, um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video, so please give me a big thumbs up if you like this video, so I know that you like these kind of like eBay unboxing mystery pack kind of uh, hauls. Um, please like and subscribe, obviously if you click the 
the bell notification then obviously you get notified when all my videos go up I also do a vlog every Monday as well so it's a little bit behind the scenes of Kimmy Shrine as well as obviously my personal life with my husband Ruben and our two cats Cookie and Biscuit and yeah that is it so I'll see you guys next time later days so I know that goes there that should go there that's there castle's there um, I don't think I have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So I've got five characters. So that one, aha, right, we're in business. Which then makes me think, I don't know, because I'm trying to think, because I know. And his feet, obviously, you know, you kind of um, move it along to then um, like create like Bigfoot, like. I have made a mess everywhere. Um, thumbnail. Oh, thumbnail. I think this would be a good thumbnail. That's not put my dress on there. That'd be amazing. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to hold it so it looks like that I'm looking at it, but because my dress is on the top, uh, I'm trying to do it in a way that makes me be like, oh, I wonder what's inside, even though I've already opened it.